This weekend, you can hop in your car and go on a drive through Dinosaur Safari because Jurassic Quest is back this year. It'll be at Coney Island and Local 12's Clancy Burke joins us from there now and has your first look. The thing about Jurassic Quest is that it is too dangerous to stand out here. We need to get in our car, lock up, buckle up. Oh, yes, we are going on a ride because that's the thing about this year's Jurassic Quest. It's different than any other year. It's going to be a drive through experience. Are you ready for this? Because I don't even know if I am. There are so many creatures, more than 70 of them. And I, when I say creatures, I mean everything. From dinosaurs, we're seeing sea creatures. These things are amazing, and it really is the perfect experience for children, especially in the pandemic. I mean, when the pandemic hit, Jurassic Quest realized we couldn't have all of these people in the Duke Energy Convention Center, and that's why they did create this drive through experience. They've already been to several other states and cities. They've been to Atlanta, and they've had sold out crowds. So they are expecting a lot of people to come. Look at that thing. Just look at it. <laughs> so now you're probably wondering how much it's gonna cost. It's gonna be $49 a car, or if you have nine or more people, it's gonna be $80. And the thing is, you're looking at all these dinosaurs, you're looking at all these creatures, and you probably have questions. During the experience, you're gonna be on a guided radio tour, so that's gonna be awesome. But right now, I have uh, Captain Caleb on speed dial. Yes, I have an in with Captain Caleb, so we're gonna ask him a couple of questions. Let's see. Good morning, Clancy. Captain Caleb here. Caleb, how's it going? It's going well. How are you? I'm good, but I'm so curious. I mean, there is so much here. So can you kind of just hit us with a fun fact? What's something we should know about? Well, one of the most frequently asked questions is, what are the plates on Stegosaurus is back for? In addition to that, many of our dinosaurs have fins on their head. Well, a lot of those fins or plates or even sails that are on dinosaurs are mostly for body temperature regulation. So reptiles are cold-blooded and mammals are warm-blooded, but dinosaurs are somewhere in the middle of what we call mesotherms and had different ways of regulating their body temperature. So during the warm weather, they could angle their plate, fin, or sail towards the wind, and the wind would then cool down the rest of the blood, the blood that's being pumped through their fin, sail, or plate, and then cool down the rest of their body. Man. During the cold weather, they could angle that towards the sun to get the reverse effect. See, things we would never know, Caleb. And one thing we do want to know is where can we purchase these tickets if we want them? You can purchase your tickets in advance at JurassicQuest.com. Wow, thank you so much, Caleb. You're the best. You're absolutely welcome. Have an awesome day. You too. You heard it from him. I mean, you're going to learn so much if you come out here. Like I said, $49 a car. Or if you have nine people or more, if you're popular, if you have so many friends, it's going to cost 80 bucks. For now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Clancy, thank you. I thought I saw one of those dinosaurs on my way into work this morning. Turned out it was just an honorary raccoon. Jurassic Quest kicks off this morning at 11 a.m., runs through August 30th.